I had the ugliest coats when I was younger and I felt like they ruined all my outfits. I would look cute as, cute as hell. And then I'd go out in like really puffy, gross winter coats. And so now I've compensated by having like three coats for every possible occasion. So <laughs> you'll see. They're cute though. not that much. I got rid of a bunch like a week ago, so I should have filmed this before, but they're great. They're really pretty. Most of them are thrifted. The ones that are not thrifted are from like years and years ago because I've kind of just been trying to do Depop, Poshmark, or thrift stores as much as I can. So yeah, I'll show you everything I have and you'll see that I'm addicted. Okay, let's start with the most, I guess you could say, like, boring coat. Um, very, like, classic blazer looking. I really like that it just has these two short lapels on top instead of, like, you know, the blazer looking one. Like, I think it makes it look a little bit more, like, 60s, Jackie Kennedy-esque. Um, this was a hand-me-down. This was my mother's. I can give you the brand. Marona. Let's see. Marona. Yes. This is a really cute one, but I haven't worn it yet. Um, it's just, I don't know, I really like the color. I love this baby blue type color. I don't love how boxy it is. Um, this was a gift from my grandma. I don't know. It is cute. I just, it's hard to know when to wear it without it taking all my shape away. Okay, this one. This one makes me feel so serious. You know, having people be intimidated by you in this city is a good thing. So, but you know, going walking around the suburbs. In some of these coats have gotten me a lot of stares. <laughs> this next coat is like meant to be for me. I found it in a thrift store and at this point I was already collecting a lot of coats and I was like I talked myself out of it and then I had three dreams about it in a row for three nights and then I went back to the thrift store and it was gone. Um, so shout out to my boyfriend he found this online. It's by Style & Co. I just, oh my god, these are, these are so cute. Like, I, I'm i not big on animal print, but I don't know. I think it can be done really tastefully. Oh, I love this coat. Isn't she cute? I want to name her, but I don't know what to name her. But it feels really fancy. I mean, Classy cheetah print, you know, like, it can be done, apparently. The pockets are nice, again, with the one lapel near the neck, instead of the blazer look. I think, again, this gives it more of a 60s style. So. And this one. This one is my newest coat, actually. I have yet to wear it. I got it about two weeks ago at a Goodwill for seven dollars. Seven dollars! And she's so pretty and very warm. Like, I don't know, I'm located in the Northeast so I really take warmth into consideration because there's no point in looking good if you are freezing. But this is so cute. Fully lined. That's pretty rare, but yeah, um, brand, oh, I've been forgetting, Marcia, five medium.
Foster, the failed Foster, um, last fall. Picked him up in the Bronx. One of the best days of my life. This one is really unique to me. Um, again, another kind of intimidating looking one. This is waterproof, so it's like a raincoat, but this is, this lapel is faux fur, and it is removable, so underneath I could just get the regular blazer look, which I love. Um, I have also yet to wear this because this is a hand-me-down. Um, this video is making me realize that like the women above me in my family had some great taste because this is so cute and waterproof. I haven't had very cute raincoats in the past. I feel like a spy. Pockets are deep, also. Oh my god. I keep forgetting to say the brand. Um, brand. It's called Preference. I got it from my aunt, so I'm not really sure where to get these specifically. Okay, so this one, I have not thought too much on Depop. Not too much that I think is worth reading about, to be honest. But this is beautiful. This makes me feel like a real life like princess. Like Anastasia would have worn this after she found out she was, you know, royalty. They probably would have given her this coat. Because it's also so warm. So I got this on Depop. I can link the seller below. I'm like, oh. oh, it literally, it feels like a skirt on the bottom. So it feels really fancy. Pockets, a must. So it's like a circle skirt on the bottom, if that makes sense. Like it flares. And then the sleeves actually flare too. And then, of course, we have a faux fur hood. So, I can walk through the streets of New York City looking like a Russian queen or whatever. But, I love this one. I haven't worn this one either because <laughs> I feel like I stock up on coats when it's really warm out. I mean, you should, right? That's when it's really cheap. So, oh my god, brand, brand, brand. This is Vintage Sears. This is from Sears in, I believe, the 70s. So you can kind of tell, like I think I do need to get it dry cleaned a little bit and like maybe puff this out a bit, but I mean, it's in like great condition. It's so pretty. Okay, so this is H&M. This was a hand-me-down. Um, my mom got this and then she ended up not wanting it anymore. So I took it, I think it's like, kind of the heavy duty version of this trench coat because it's a lot thicker. So, you know, those colder flowers. Use this one. What's in here? Oh, a mask. I don't like this coat that much to be honest. I really want to get rid of it. It's been sitting on my Depop for so long. I'm just like sick of seeing it, so if anyone wants it, please let me know, um, but, like, it's okay, I just, it's not my style, it's really not my style, it's soft, it's really cute and cozy, but I just never wear it, so, if anyone wants it, so this is another one that is on my Depop, I want to get rid of it. It is super cute. I just don't wear it enough, and I've had it for a while now, so if I haven't worn it much by now, like, it's not going to happen. I wore it a lot when I first got it, but now that I've gotten other coats, uh, I don't know if you hear that bell ringing. My, my kitten is hitting Zoom the hour, um, so this one is really cute. Got it at a thrift store in Brooklyn. This was about... I would say like $15. It's faux fur. There are pockets. It 
it definitely makes me feel like, you know, I'm married, rich, whatever. Um, it has the more blazer-like double lapels on both sides. I would say this fits like a size medium because I usually take medium. Um, but there's no tags on this. I just found it this way. And it is really cute, but, you know, I, I just don't wear it enough. So, that might be a problem. Go take it, please. I need room in my closet. I don't have enough room. This one, another hand-me-down from my aunt. And this brand is, it says Quattro Paris size large. So this one is definitely a size large. Fits like a large. Um, I think it's a pretty heavy duty winter coat. But what I like about it is that it genuinely feels like I have some kind of like bed cover on me. Like it feels like a really soft sleeping bag is the only way I can describe it. And like I like that they still give you this weird collar to make you feel kind of fancy. But this is floor length. I mean actually no. It is below knee length, but not floor length on me. Um, and I'm 5'2". It's so cute though. These ties, so you can tie yourself up. Kind of looks like a bathrobe actually. But yeah, it's big. It's big, but it's good for a harsh winter. So this one is probably the most expensive one I own. However, I got it at a thrift store, so I got it for about $20. But I believe from looking online, this coat is worth like four to five hundred. So I don't really know why someone gave it up so easily, but it is the warmest thing I own. And it's faux fur. So like, you know, I was a little skeptical, but okay. The brand is Borgazia. And it does not tell me the size, but I know it's I know it's big on me. I can tell, but I layer up in winter, so it doesn't even matter, but like, look at these buttons, the cuffs. So this is like a very velvet and this is a faux fur. So, you know, it's very cute. I love that detail in the back with the button again. But again, the warmest thing I own, it is, I'm so hot right now. <laughs> um, because it's, you know, it's New York, so it's 85 to 80 degrees in September, um, but this has, I've literally gone in the snow with it, even though I know I probably shouldn't because of how soft it is, but like, it's so warm. I think I named this one Colette, so in French Colette, um, I don't know, she just gives me those vibes. Help me name the other ones, please comment down below because I do want to name every single one, and they have very different vibes each one. Okay, this one is by the brand Lioness. It is a size extra small. I think I honestly should have gotten a size bigger. Um, it says Lioness Brooklyn Long Coat Black. And, oh my gosh. You know, I don't know if I want to curse on this channel yet, but like, this is the bad bitch coat, right? Like, this is another one where walking through the streets, no one will talk to you. Which, you know, can be good or bad. Wow. The trim lining is really soft, and it is vegan leather. What are you doing? But, anyways. This one I think I named Veronica. I think it gave me Veronica, you know, Ronnie for short. <laughs> I'm really, I just, I put on this coat and I become a different person. I'm feeling myself now. That's kind of the end of my collection. Um, I would have had more if I'd filmed this last week before I got rid of a bunch of my coats and um, donated them, but. You know, I was giving them, so they probably weren't worth this explanation and this time. But, I hope you guys are as excited as I am for the fall and for the winter so we can break out these babies. And, um, yeah. See you next time.